I would suggest it was wildly ambitious. The idea of a carbon neutral community, very far out there. But in the meantime, the rest of the world has sort of started coming along this way. Uh, the new building code is going for net neutral. Uh, it's a greater and greater recognition that this is how we need to be building communities. We've got a great head start here in Blatchford. Yeah, I mean, it's sort of exponential growth, right? Like there were four families and then eight and then 16. And then now the newest developments, it's like 90 new homes, 100 new homes. Um, so it's really growing quickly. Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. That was Edmonton City Councillor Ann Stevenson and resident Justin Wheeler talking about the largest planned carbon neutral community in North America. Tom Lumsden is an experienced private developer who heads the project for the City of Edmonton. So the vision is 30,000 Edmontonians living a sustainable lifestyle, carbon neutral, uh, using renewable energy. As the developer, the city could set that vision, create a green building code, and use a geo-exchange district heating system. The city as the developer can control that. Like I said, 30,000 people is a lot of people on this amount of land. Being carbon neutral is our target. We're working towards that. We've done, so the, the big thing in Edmonton, being the, the heart of oil and gas country, in Blatchford, you can't heat your house with gas. So we have a green building code, and, and we've had that in, in place since the beginning of the community. Uh, and what we figured out, it's about 70% above what the standard building code is. So houses are being built very efficiently with um, very little need for much energy. A townhome designed to Blatchford's current green building code is roughly equivalent to the top level, Tier 5, of the Energy Performance in the National Building Code Alberta edition that came into effect in 2024. So we have a, a district energy system that's using renewable energy to heat the homes. We asked residents Heather McKenzie and Justin Wheeler what it's like living with geothermal heating and cooling during a heat dome. It's fine. It's exactly the same yeah. in winter and summer. <laughs> I mean, it depends how we set our thermostat. We but don't there's deviate much. No, no restriction on that. We don't notice the hot days or the cold days other than when we go outside. Our dog sometimes gets cold in the summer, so then he asks to go outside so he can warm up in a sunbeam for <laughs> a little bit. He gets cold in our air conditioning. <laughs> yeah. If you thought living in a dense downtown neighborhood means no green space, think again. Yeah, actually, it's been exciting that they've developed that right off the bat. So we have a playground already, they have an outdoor rink, there's a walking path and a, a stormwater pond with lots of ducks and wildlife around it. Um, we have an LRT station, which we mentioned, that we can walk to now. Um, and then, yeah, lots of stuff surrounding the neighborhood too. Lots of bike paths that are already going in as they build up the neighborhood, so you see Keith kids learning to bike and scoot around the neighborhood. Yeah, we're pretty excited about the community garden too. We actually have our own little apple orchard, so that's pretty special. We'll show you the community garden in a future episode. It's location that might be the most important feature of Blatchford. It's 500 acres, 10 minutes from the center of the city. It's about the size of the existing downtown. It's, you know, the old, the old um, adage from Real estate is location, location, location. We have that bar none. It's right in the heart of the city, connected to transit, short travel distances. There's a grocery store already. There's an LRT stop. It's all the things that new neighborhoods often wait years and years for, uh, but they're already here in Blatchford. It's called location efficiency. With less time spent commuting, residents that live in the core of the city produce half as many greenhouse gas emissions as residents in the suburbs. This doubles down on emissions saved by these renewably heated near net zero homes. Every time I come out here, there's, there's new buildings. Um, I think the other thing we need to be so proud of is the community that's formed. The people choosing to move here are so intentional about connecting with their neighbours. Um, again, that social sustainability there, the fact that we're going to be incorporating 16% affordable housing uh, while also meeting these uh, climate objectives. It's truly phenomenal. The pace is picking up in Blatchford with nearly 100% of the land in the first stages either sold, has a sales agreement in place, or active builder interest. Blatchford is now taking holds for builders for land in the next stage of development. And more diverse forms of housing, other than townhomes, are coming to Blatchford as well. There's a 90 townhouse 
um, multi-site, so quite a few, but we have some four to six story buildings coming. We have one that's about to start, so that's like 90 units in one, one building, so apartment style. Blanchford is already surrounded with shopping, pubs, hospitals, and great road and transit service. But in time, the plan is to host a variety of housing and plenty of commercial as well. The people we spoke to love the green spaces, the lake, and all the amazing amenities already in place. They love that the LRT is on site and the geo exchange system and the quality of the homes. In future segments, we'll talk in detail about heat pumps and we'll meet a couple of families living in Blatchford. Learn more at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.